Uh, Fig Securities, Simon Michelle for more. And Simon, the Fed minutes obviously released next week. It is, it is a big one just to keep pricing in or getting any idea of when or if we'll see another rate hike from the Fed. What are you saying? Absolutely, Ingrid. Good afternoon. And uh, look, markets uh, at the moment, the Fed futures are showing that uh, investors don't expect uh, the Fed to move again until December. So it'll be really interesting to see uh, from those Fed minutes uh, what the consensus was at the last meeting. And we've had a couple of the uh, governors coming out in the last 24 hours suggesting that uh, they were keen to stay on a tightening cycle. So uh, we're all eyes on the minutes. What about here at home? Because obviously CBA coming out today uh, saying they're expecting another two rate cuts now this year. Has that had any sort of impact on yields here at home? Look, yields here are at historic lows. Um, you know, the two year is down, down at 1.57%. So that's certainly suggesting with the cash rate at 1.75 that we will We'll see lower rates. Uh, the 10-year as well at 2.27, uh, you know, never been this low before. So we're, we're in new uncharted waters and uh, I think if you have a look at that inflation, you have a look at that growth, you have a look at what's going on around the rest of the uh, world with uh, further quantitative easing, uh, not unlike the uh, recent rate cut, uh, the RBA may be forced to lower rates just to remain uh, in that same uh, part of the sphere as the rest of the uh, central banks. Yeah, yields go even lower from here. Um, and talking about Aussie banks, they're issuing some tier two bonds offshore. What are you seeing? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of issuance. So these are tier two bonds. These are subordinated bonds. They sit beneath senior bonds, but above the hybrid bonds. And uh, as Aussie banks have to go offshore because there's just not the depth of market here to get the volume that they need issued. So we've seen the ANZ uh, issue over there in the US, and we've seen NAB issue uh, in Singapore, and uh, they both got good volume, good demand, and got those bonds away at good levels. So that's a positive sign for uh, Australian issuers. All right, all the banks in negative territory share price wise, though, today. Simon Michelle, appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Ingrid. That does wrap